Hello there guys, welcome to TotalCards.net. Today we're going to be opening two set uh, collector's boosters, sorry, for Strixhaven. Now, Strixhaven has been out for a while now, but you've got to love the Japanese art when I get it open. Do this one first. So, with Strixhaven, it is supposed to be the School of Mages from Before Magic the Gathering, which immediately reminded me straight away of Hogwarts, and then when some of the schools actually came out, especially Witherbloom, or Witherbloom immediately, straight away, the minute I saw it, reminded me of Slytherin. And then you've got the Auric, which kind of looked like Death Eaters, which is quite funny in my opinion, and quite a lot of people, including myself, were actually looking for a looking and thought that they were going to actually bring out a secret lair with Harry Potter themed artwork on it which would have been absolutely hilarious but there we go so we have two collector's booster boxes ready to open today and yeah let's begin so the mystic archive cards are absolutely amazing in this set and um, the Literally one of my favourite alt arts that has ever been brought out so far. Uh, especially considering the fact that we get a lot of spells from uh, Magic's history that we've never actually... A lot of people have seen, but have never actually owned before. But then the, the Mystic Arcanum cards actually give us the, the actual um, capability of being able to play it. So, first of all we got a Luca token and a Foil Elemental token. Then we have a Illustrious Historian. Stonebound Mentor, Spiteful Squad, a Field Trip, Lash of Malice, Show of Confidence, Reflective Golem, we have an Environmental Science, Cody, the talking book from the animated trailer, absolutely hilarious character as a foil, and then we've got Ruka, Patient Professor, Selfless Glyph Weaver. I do not know what this is. I think... I actually genuinely don't know what this is. A Foil Etched Doom Blade. A Claim the Firstborn. And another Japanese art card, which I do not know what it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not speak Japanese. But yeah, it's, the artwork on these are absolutely amazing. Kind of reminds me... Not exactly, but they're not too dissimilar from the Japanese artworks we got for the Planeswalkers from War of the Spark. Um, War of the Spark was actually the first set that I actually started playing, so... It's quite nice being able to see different Japanese artworks on these again. So, next pack. We have a Foil Pest token. These things are absolutely heckin' adorable. I absolutely love them. I want to build a Witherbloom deck that literally just spits out millions upon millions of pest tokens because I think they're absolutely cute as hell. And on the other side, we have a spirit token for Lawhold. You know what? I'm going to have the pest token. We have Eager First Year, Moldering Karok, Burrog Befolder. That actually reminds me of a race from Dungeons and Dragons. I've forgotten what the name is. If you don't know what the name is, can you please put it in the comment section? Because I really need to know what it is. Uh, Needlethorn Drake. Professor of Zoomancy. On a Troll. Rip Apart. That actually looks really cool in foil. Just the way it's highlighted in the center. Looks really nice. Spirit Summoning. Oh, straight away, second pack, Professor Onyx, in foil as well, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Liliana, arguably people's favourite planeswalker of all time. Um, and I don't know if they're going to retire, spoilers for everybody here at first, but uh, if you listen to the, um, the webisodes that they did for the Strixhaven storyline, I'm unsure if Professor Onyx is actually getting 
like Liliana's character is actually going to get retired because she's actually stayed on Strixhaven instead of moving on like she has done elsewhere. But absolutely stunning card and to be honest there is actually a member of our packing team who really likes Liliana. He's a fit, hands down favourite planeswalker. Mine, myself, is Garrick. Uh, we've got various other people but he would absolutely love to have got this card and the artwork yet again just the way that the hue in the background comes off of the foil really really beautiful then we have a battle mage braces a beldross with a blue nice full art absolutely stunning then we got i can't remember what this is but this is etched if you have a look around the box I don't know if you, the light's going to catch properly, but it is actually etched around the boxes for the text. Can't remember what that one is either. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, as you can tell. Uh, Lightning Helix in etched foil. Let's go along with Doomblade. Then we have this green one. I really need to learn what these are. Um, if you give me two seconds. This is, in fact, not on the list. Typical. Uh, it's not natural order. If you guys know what it is, please leave it in the comment section below, because, um, yeah, I do not know. <laughs> now we have Sedgemore Witch, which, once again, full art foil looks absolutely amazing. Uh, full art foils, where did I put you? I don't think I put you anywhere. Anywho, next pack. Uh, I think we've got to get two from this pack. Big box next. So. We have an Inkling token and a Fractal token. We're going to see if we can get each of the mascots up here in foil tokens. We probably will because the tokens are all over the place basically, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. So right, as of now, we've got two Mythics, straight away. Uh, yep, yeah, two Mythics. Yeah, definitely two Mythics. Yeah. Straight away, we've only opened two packs. That really isn't bad. And we got the two Mythics out of the exact same pack as well. So here we go. Illustrious Historian, Cram Session, Silver Quill Pledge Mage, Charge Through, Leech Fanatic, Wormhole Serpent. I haven't actually seen that card yet. Uh, Quandrix Cultivator. Illum Illuminate, Illu Illuminate History. I do apologise. Semester's End. Everybody used to love that at, the end, at my school when I was a kid. End of the year. Done. <laughs> so that's all the foils. And then we have a Witch's Clinic for the full art. And a Augmented Pledge List. Then we have an Infuriate in an etched foil. I believe this is Corazon and Grip. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But yeah, that's where I'm going to stay. Uh, then we've got a foil version of the card we got before. I don't know what that is. I want to, I want to say it's Duress, but I might be wrong. I probably am wrong. And then we have Mascot Expedition. Next pack. And yep, we've got another pest token, and then on the back, we have a spirit token. So that can go there. And then we've nearly got all five mascots of each of the schools, which is quite cool. So we have Enthusiastic Study, Orgor Battleseer, Curate, Campus Guild Mage, Scurried Colony, Thunderous Orator, she is actually from the um, from the trailer. She will be. What, she is actually the person who tries to like uh, persuade the students to get go to do and join that school. It is actually quite a cool uh, concept the way that they did that. I've forgotten the name with her. <laughs> uh, Zimon Quandrix Prodigy Containment Breach Frag the Dean of Chaos and Augusta. Dean of Order. And that's all the foils. Then we got Guardian Ogmeta, 
Poet's Quill for the full art. Then we got an Eliminate. Eliminate. I used to love that spell. I used to absolutely love it. Uh, this one escapes me. I actually knew what it was, and it's also a Mythic. Is this what I think it is? No, it's not. I generally don't know what it is, but it's a Mythic. <laughs> then we have Shock. And an Electrolyze. These are foil. These are all etched. These aren't foil. These can go there. Sorry, I'm a little bit disorganized at the minute. I just love the Mystic Arcanum cards that much. They're absolutely stunning. Um, Demonic Tutor. That artwork from both the Japanese and the English. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Crooks of Fate. I like that one as well. Uh, D Spark. Uh, Faithless Luton, I think, is absolutely hilarious. So, next pack. So, for the token, we got a Fractal and a Inkling. There we go, we've got all five for each of the skulls. That's quite cool. I thought we would. So, we have Blood Age General, Blood Researcher, Beaming Defiance, Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Quandrix Campus, Ardent Dust Speaker, Silver Quill Apprentice, Expanded Anatomy, Lawhold Command, hilarious spell, absolutely hilarious. That's it for the foils, so for the full arts we have Nils Discipline Enforcer, Efreet Flame Spinner, A Thrill of Possibility, that is actually Blue Sun Zenith, and I know that spell because I've got the, ult the other version of it. It's amazing, absolutely amazing card. Uh, that would be in the non-file. Uh, then we have a Divine Gambit. Great card. And then a Dragonic Intervention. Intervention. To be honest, we are getting some pretty decent pulls here. Um, I like the fact that we got Liliana and Beldrus uh, with a bloom in the exact same pack, two mythics at the same time. So it does show that the collector's boosters, you do have a higher chance of getting better rarity. It's almost... I see it very much as a... Fair enough, you're paying for the cards anyway, but it, it's very much as a pay-to-win type setup. So the more you pay, the chances of you getting better rarity is always going to be better. So we have an Inkling and a Fractal. Uh, yeah, we'll have an Inkling. I remember when we opened the box for Keldheim and we ended up getting the Vorinclex and the Foil Tibble at the same time. Uh, it just goes to show that buying the better quality packs gets you the better stuff, but are they... Are you going to be using a lot of the cards or are you just going to be sat... Are they just going to be sat there in your trade binder ready to trade to somebody? It's entirely your choice. Uh, every card that we pull during the, any of our videos uh, you can find on totalcards.net, as you can see just across here. Um, you literally find everything. Anything that you need for TCGs, um, TCGs, your accessories like your gear mats, your sleeves, uh, deck boxes, stuff like that, you can all find it on totalcards.net. So we have Heated Debate, Make Your Mark, Study Break, Arcane Subtraction, Crushing Disappointment, Emergent Sequence, Shade Wing, Laureate, Expanded Anatomy, With a Bloom Command, another great spell, another absolutely hilarious spell. I actually won a game not that long ago with this card, it's quite cool. Uh, and then we've got for the full art, Bald Plagiarist. If this is. Where Yes, this is the card that I wanted to talk about actually. This card in any deck that uses Proliferate Engines or. Um, especially against Hydra decks and stuff like that, is absolutely amazing. Uh, I can't really say much more than that. It's it's just a really good spell. No matter how big something gets, this card is going to get just the same. It's just absolutely top-notch top creature. And then we have... Why are you over there? Oh, Blue Sun Zenith is actually mythic. Didn't know that. Uh... Elemental Expressionist. Then we have... This is... Something... Sacrifice the Firstborn or something like that. 
I'm probably wrong with the full name, but it's something along those lines. Then we have a Sword of Pole Shares in Etched. I believe this is Counterspell. No, it's not Counterspell. I don't know what this is. <laughs> and then we have Forever and Mastery. So yeah, this, uh, this set, I, I was really looking forward to it, and I did. I do like the Mystic Arcanum cards, and I do like a lot of the cards that have come out in it. It just fit, seemed a little bit um, underwhelming, almost. Because it went from, my opinion, Kaldheim was a really good set, set both cards-wise and story-wise, down to this, but it's kind of like has the same uh, same setup as how Eldrain did. Nobody thought it was a good set at first because of what happened during War of the Spark, where we had so many planeswalkers. Then Eldrain came out, and we're back to just random creatures and fairies and stuff. Um, but it did eventually become a good set. And I'm hoping that this set does the same because it is a good set. It's just once again sat at the back of another really good set. So we have a Tome Shredder. Vortex Runner, Star Pupil, Professor's Warning, Leyline Invocation, Test of Talents, Golden Ratio, Pest Summoning, favourite spell from the set, gotta be, uh, James, Dr I do apologise, a Dream Strix, and then for the full art we have Cunning Rhetoric, and another Cody, but this one is full art. I absolutely love Cody, I think he's hilarious. I really do. Now we have a strategic planning. Uh, this will be a Swords of Plowshares, and I only know that because it's there. <laughs> uh, you are in the wrong section, my friend. There we go. Uh, this is a foil version of whatever the firstborn. And then, I believe this might be Crux of Fate. I will quickly tell you. I think this is actually Crooks of Fate. The two dragons fighting each other, one's were supposed to be representing... Um, yes it is, I could tell by the two points. Uh, one is representing Ugin, one is representing Nickel Balls. Um, I believe it is you get to choose Khans and Tarki Khans are dragons and depending on what you go from there so if you pick dragons I think you get to destroy all non-dragon creatures on the battlefield if you pick Khans you get to destroy all dragons I believe I could be wrong I most likely am wrong but amazing card everybody should have one plain and simple next pack Pest token! We're going to stick with that one. On the other side, there is a spirit token, but we're going to stick with pest tokens because they are heckin' adorable. So we have First Day of Class, Prismari Pledge Mage, Serpentine Curve, Archway Commons, Mage's Duel, uh, Mage Duel, sorry. I really do like the flavour text on the bottom of this. It just remember the rules no spells to the face. If any of you, any of you have siblings, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Stormkill artist, Quintorius Field Historian, another guy from the where he, he was basically the Lawhold um, pledge mage who tries to get people to join Lawhold during the animated trailer. Elemental summoning, summoning, sorry. <laughs> oh, Shine Shadow Snarl, nice. I'm gonna put this to one side because that is an amazing card. That's it for the foils. That's in foil? Oh, wow. We'll see if we can get the beam to come out. Absolutely stunning. So, we have a full art combat calligrapher. A devastating mastery. I think it's a good spell. Many will disagree with me. Strategic planning and etched foil. That's two of them we've got now. Uh, this one is Electrolyze, because it's there. <laughs> uh, Snakeskin Veil, that was probably the green spell that I, we had before. This one. Probably is. is. And that looks like... I don't know what that is. That's cool. I really don't know what that is, but I want it. Um, dibs. 
That looks cool. This might actually be Inquisition of all uh, of um, Kozilek. I could be wrong. Probably I'm wrong, but that's what I think it may be. Once again, I don't speak Japanese. Unfortunately, I I, I, I missed that course. Uh, so, oh, we got a new uh, token. So, for our tokens, we have Rowan, Scholar of Sparks, and a Fractal token. We're gonna go for Rowan for that one. Let's go. So we got Stonebound Mentor, Dragon's Approach, Spiteful Squad, Neil Horn Drake, Bayou Groff, Plant Dog, because he's the bestest of good boys, Eye Twitch, Explosive Intervention, Start from Scratch, Rushed Rebirth, and then, that's it for the foils, we have a Keen Duelist, Another Professor Onyx, this one in full art. Absolutely amazing. I actually prefer this one. Hmm. Absolutely amazing card. Absolutely stunning card. Uh, just Liliana, basically. Then we have... I'm going to assume this is a strategic planning. I am probably wrong, and I do apologise if I am. Sign in blood. Not actually seen one of these yet. This is actually quite nice. There we have two white. I believe that is a divine gambit. Maybe wrong. Maybe not. I don't know. And then we have a double major. Great card, especially if you are um, if you want to copy a creature that's going to help you further on. So, for example, copying Nick's Bloom Ancient with this card would be insane. Um, just it's basically spark double in a spell because it gets rid of the legendary rule and it you will literally just find a way of using it anywhere I keep focusing on that I do apologize um, but yeah it is spark double in an instant can't complain about that really can you uh, full art foils I have lost my full art foils that's why. There we go. Sorted. Right, next pack. Just gonna pull these out with the uh, displays because they are a bit cumbersome. Right, next pack. So. We have a pest token, and we have a spirit token. We're going to go for another pest token because the pests are supposed to get everywhere. Uh, we will have a thrilling discovery. Pillar drop rescuer. Resculpt. Good card. I do love the artwork on that card. Rise of Ectus. Ex Ectus? Ectus? Either or. Uh, <laughs> Arrogant poet. Mage hunter. These are really cool, but they do not get the limelight in the story that they should. That's my opinion on it. Um move that out of the way because this is what's causing all the problems you are just a foil you go in the foil section there we go um but yeah they don't really get the limelight in the story that they should uh law hold apprentice introduction to prophecy valentine dean of the vein and lilist lisette sorry dean of the root i actually have this card it's really good card. I intend on making a deck based around it, but I don't know how it's going to work out. Uh, then we have Guardian Archeon. Archon, sorry, not Archeon. Uh, accomplished Alchemist. <laughs> Why did they do this to us? Oh no, this one is Snakeskin Veil. I know that for a fact. Um, then we have a Flo Faithless Lutin. When I saw this card, I think it's a funny card now. It's definitely more of a joke card, but when I first saw this card, I thought somebody at Wizards had accidentally sent a mock-up of paint rather than the actual card. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, quite a lot of people in here, though, actually like it. I, I'm, I think it's more of a comedy card now, but at first I was not happy at all. Uh, <laughs> then we have a Whirlwind Denial. Great card. I don't know who that is, but that definitely looks like it, it could potentially be the Wanderer. 
I don't know why it would be in blue though, so it's probably not. And a compulsive research. I actually have this card in foil. It is stunning. Each ring stands out individually. It's absolutely amazing. Next pack. So we have an inkling and on the reverse side we have an elemental token. I will go for the inkling. As you can tell, I favour the schools that have black. Black mana is my favourite type of mana, so any any form of pairing or uh, trio of colours that we could get, uh, I will always go for one that has at least black in it. So we have Imbram, Dean, oh, okay, that's the back. Bad Gareth. Uh, Low Hole Pledge Mage. Pillar Drop Warden. Pop Quiz. Novice Dis Dissector. Tangle Trap. Kelpie Guide. Zephyr Boots. Oh, I've not seen this one yet. That's quite cool. Is this basically kind of like... Um, that similar to Swift Book Boots? A quick creature has haste. I mean flying, sorry, not haste. Whenever the quick creature deals combat, I would play a draw card and then discard a card. That isn't actually too bad. made it a little bit more difficult than usual but we are back on track now as far as i'm aware uh but the music kind of is the motivation for the place and sometimes it gets a bit loud uh we got Ri revival experiment ingenious mastery good card i actually like this card then we have i actually think this one's duress i don't know if it is but i'm going to say it's duress <laughs> uh then we got another electro uh, elect electorize then we have an Eliminate. And as you may have saw earlier, we have a Kian and a Dean of Substance. And a Imbran. Imbraham. Imbraham? Yeah, Imbraham. Dean of Theory. Basically your owl boy. That will teach you everything. Kind of reminds me of the owl from um, Winnie the Pooh. Next pack. We didn't actually get... We, we got one Japanese etched foil in that one. That is not supposed to go there, Gareth. So for this one, we got a Fractal Token. And a pest token, so we're gonna go with pest. And I've just seen that, and that is quite cool. Uh, Spectral Mage, Fuming Effigy, Aegis Guardian, Soothsayer Adept, Unwilling Ingredient, Mage Hunter, Lol Hold Apprentice, Fractal Summoning, Leonin Light Scribe, and that's it for the foils for this one. Then we have a Cunning Rhetoric. Wow, okay. Uh, Tanazir Quandrix in full art. Absolutely stunning. Uh, he is going to go down with Veladros Witherbloom because he looks amazing. So he is staying there. Uh, then we have an Opt. Uh, I want to say this is Approach of the Second Sun. I may be wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, we have... This is... Firebolt? Fireball. No, this is Infuriate. Sorry, I do apologise. Then we have Blex Vexing Pest. This card had so much promise, um, but he is definitely one of those commanders that people won't really think about. Maybe as a supplement card, but not as an actual commander himself. And the sorcery on the back, the artwork for the foil is actually really nice, but it's. I was quite disappointed in it. I saw the, I saw the actual picture of it and I thought it was amazing. Oh, sorry, I've gone out of focus again. I saw the actual picture for it, and I thought it was going to be really, really good, but then I was just disappointed. Uh, but you are a mythic, so you can go here. Next pack. So I, I do apologise that I'm on by myself today, but normally I would have somebody else in with me, and we not tend to play this game where we open up a booster box, or half a booster box each, and depending on who gets the best stuff, the best pulls from that booster box, basically wins the game. I'm really losing. So, <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm in here by myself. No. Um, basically, everybody else is busy. We're still trying to get back orders because we are TotalCards.net and we will do our best. We always do. Um, but all the cards you see during this video will be online, ready for you to buy at TotalCards.net as with sleeves, 
deck boxes, D and D books, um, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, you name it. We probably stock it. If we don't stock it, we will probably we will be looking into getting it. But yeah, if you need anything, just have a look on our website and we will have it. Relic Sloth, Pigment Storm, Stone Rise Spirit. Don't ask me why I said that like that. I have no clue. Excavated Wall, Field Trip, Test of Talents, Aether Helix, Confront the Past. I love this card. I really do love this card. Um, the fact that it brings in the War of the Spark elements and how it's actually uh, affected Liliana, that somebody else has actually sacrificed their life for her. Absolutely amazing. It plays out in the story so well. But once again, the story wasn't that good. <laughs> uh, Demogroth Titan. Then we have a Battle Maces Braces and a Illuminate History. I want to say that this is a Illuminate, but I'm probably wrong. As with all of them, I am probably wrong. Tezzeret's Gambit, great card. Phyrexian Mana is a thing, no matter what anybody says. And I got a foil version of that card. And a foil, what on earth? How? How is that even humanly possible? That is like got to be one in 150 million chance. That is insane. That is actually insane. We've got the same card twice. The Japanese Etch Foil and the Tezzeret's Gambit. Japanese Etch Foil now has a full art foil and a foil Tezzeret's Gambit. Statistically, that shouldn't be possible. But it is, and that is cool. Once again, Tezzeret's Gambit. Remember, Phyrexian Mana is, the, is actually a thing and it is the ultimate form of perfection. We have an Inkling, and on the reverse side of Fractal Totem, we're going to go for Inkling. Kind of feel bad. <laughs> Biomath Petition. Exalted Allocation. Vortex Runner. Hunt for Specimens. Lawhold Campus. Dueling Coach. Reconstruct History. Introduction to Annihilation. That actually sounds really cool. Uh, Warding... Archaic? I probably said that way wrong. But yeah, explore the vast, the vast lands. But that's pretty cool. Uh, that's all the foils. So for the full art, we have a secret engine, sequence engine. Sorry, a uh, all of Ovilda, Dean of Perfection, and then a Nasara, Nasari, Dean of Expression. Then we have a thriller possibility. One blue. I do not know what that is. <laughs> An infuriate. And a Radiant Scroll Wielder. That's quite cool. I like that. Where's my foil stuff gone? You are not supposed to be there. Neither are you. You are supposed to be there. There we go. Next pack. We have Inkling. And then we have an Elemental. We'll stick there with the Elemental. Is it is actually a pretty cool school. I love the fact that the copying of spells while you're burning people is a combo in it. Uh, Ral... Storm Warden, I think, is the card from Warren Spark, which you can actually you can actually make an infinite combo on him. So that's pretty cool. So we have Owlin Shield Mage, Sudden Breakthrough, Frost Tricker, Trickster, sorry, Cogwork Arch Archivist, Tangle Trap, Dueling Coach, Master Symmet Symmetris Symmetrist, Confront the Past, still an amazing card. Efreet Flame Painter. Then we have, I believe this one actually came out of one of the commander decks. It's actually one of the secondary or thirdary commanders. Uh, Lalila Blade Reforged. And we have actually got another Planeswalker. We have the Legendary Fox and Luca. Don't know why we've revisited him so soon since uh, Ikora, but I'm not complaining. I think he's an okay Planeswalker law wise. So yeah. I will put him there with the rest of the mythics. Oh, it's full art as well, so I really can't complain. So we have a negate. Oh no, I'm lost. Then we have a corrosion grip. Another foil of that card. I keep forgetting what that's called. I want to say it's agonizing remorse, but I don't know if that's not right. And a law hold command in full art foil. Next pack. Sorry that this video has been a bit long. I talk a lot during my videos, and I do apologise for that. But um, 
I am really, I am really enthusiastic about magic. Um, it is a hobby, but the lore and the story behind it is absolutely amazing. It's kind of like if you are a fan of Warhammer 40,000, where the story behind it can actually intrigue you into playing a particular army rather than just playing an army. Uh, so we have a pest token and an elemental token. So we're going to keep the pest token. So we have infused with vitality. Square up. A berry in books. Unwilling ingredient. Letter of acceptance. Everybody's still waiting for that letter from Hogwarts, I'm just saying. Flunk. A Ruther Mercurial Artist. Another card, another character from the actual animated trailer. Introduction to Prophecy. Ingenious Mastery. Then we have a Sequence Engine. A Kina Dean of Substance. And Imbram Dean of Theory. Then we have a Cultivate. This may be Negate. It may not be, but it may be. <laughs> I really need to learn these Japanese cards. I do apologise. Then we have this one, which I forget the name of already. Ooh, Mind's Desire. Very good card. Very, very good card. In foil as well. Absolutely amazing card. I will just... I'm going to have to square these guys up. I do apologise for that. But yeah, as you can see, collector's boosters. The amount of value that you actually get out of collector's boosters are amazing. I, I, I have bought collector's booster boxes before. And I definitely think that they are worth it in most cases. Depending on what you're looking for. Um, so these are mythics. Uh, foil. There we go. What are you doing on there? Oh yeah, you're not for that. Um, so yeah, I definitely think they are worth it in a lot in the grand scheme of things. But other people will disagree. Anywho, next pack. So we have a demon avatar token or a spirit token. We are going to go for the demon avatar. Pest Summoning, still my favourite card. Sedgemoor Witch. Another Leela Blade. The Blade Reforged. A Demogroth Titan. Then we have a Defiant Strike. Huh. I don't know what this is. I genuinely do not know what that is. Huh. Okay. Uh, then we have... Uh, that, it, that will be Defiant Strike. Oh, oh, Jesus. We have a Teferi's Protection. He is not the most valuable card in the set, but it is up there. He It, it is a card that any white deck should be playing. Uh, if you're not playing Teferi's Protection in mono white, what are you doing? <laughs> just, you just phase out. You, you, you For the rest of the turn, until your next turn even, you like to vote total can't change, you gain protection from everything. All permanence you control phase out. They don't exist in the grand scheme of things until the end of the turn. How is that not a good spell? I don't know. I don't know, Gareth. How why why aren't more people playing it? Oh, that's why, because it's so expensive. <laughs> but still. <laughs> proxy it. Game of commander, proxy. Done. So we have a pest token and. A fractal token, we're gonna go with pest. So, <laughs> as you can see, that's gonna be the running theme. We've just got pest tokens here. Uh, we have a twin scroll shaman, infused vitality, burrow B folder. This is actually a lot better, me doing it like this. A uh, biblioplex assistant, spine carrot, grinning ignis. Had to make sure I slowed down to say that one. Uh, humiliate. Introduction to Prophecy. Efreet Flame Painter. Then we have a Spawning Kraken. 
and the culminate culmination of studies it's really good <laughs> especially in the law but like the actual story for it that battle is pretty cool uh spoilers once again will will loses his leg <laughs> just imagine what garrick's going to be like when he finds that out uh i'm assuming that's a D divine gambit another faithless Luton. get in I love it. I love it. I think it's one of the... <laughs> I can't even joke about that. Uh, I think this is Village Rights. And then we have a Callous Blood Mage. Oh, no. You aren't supposed to go there. You are supposed to go somewhere here. I have probably messed this up really badly, but oh well. <laughs> Next pack. Once again, we are starting to get through the packs now. Uh, I've base, I think I've just opened up 24 packs, but these cards are stunning. So we've got a treasure token or an elemental token. I'm going to go for the treasure token this time. Uh, we have square up, the star pupil, reject, lash of malice, a wither bloom compass. Interred Trickster, Inkster, sorry, Inkaster, Intuid, Inkcaster. There we go. Uh, practical Research, Spirit Summoning. Ooh, Ecological Im Appreciation. That's quite cool. I like that. Then we have the Fractal Bloom from the with the the uh, uh, Quandrix deck. I do apologise. Dragon Guard Elite. I believe this might actually be the box topper, but in a different art form. I could be wrong, but I believe it is. Then we have a headache again. Sorry. A natural order, an adventurous impulse. Oh, and a full art snarl. Stunning, absolutely stunning card. Absolutely stunning. Next pack. We have an inkling. And a spirit. We're going to go for Inkling again. Right, the schools are starting to be a little bit left out. I do apologise. Dragon's Approach. Cram Session. Stiff Break. Scary Colony. Leech Fanatic. Funny card. <laughs> Mentor's Guidance. Creative Outburst. Reduce to Memory. Silver Quill Command. That's all the foils. Then we've got Surge to Victory. A Vulnerable War Singer. Uh, you go here. Then we have this card again. A lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Always good in your mono red deck. If you are playing mono red and you're not playing my lightning bolt, you ain't playing it properly. That's my opinion. It may be wrong. <laughs> I've said that a lot this video. Um, shock. Once again, should be in a mono red deck. Plain and simple. Exponential growth. Double X, so all those cards that ha involve your X costs. Amazing, amazing card. And once again, we have a pest token and a fractal token. Pests! First day A class. Serpentine Curve. Silver Quill Pledge Mage. Lawhold Campus. Big Play. Detention Vortex. Mailstorm Muse, Fractal Summoning, Sedgemoor Mitch, uh, Mitch, <laughs> Sedgemoor Witch. There we go. Now we have a Muse Vortex, another X cost, Conspiracy Theorist. I don't know why I always point out the X cost. It's because I was actually building a X cost, uh, X matters, X mana matters deck before, and. Uh, I, think, I believe it was the Hydra pre, the, the one that came up the uh, Mutate precon from Ikora. Uh, and I, I think it's just because I used to focus on getting X cost cards as much as possible, but it's just stuck in my brain now. And Infuriate. Infuriate, sorry, not Infuriate. Uh, that is a green card. Yes. Uh, I believe. No. It's gone. And then Valentine, Dean of the Vein, and Lisette, Dean of the Root, as the foil.
So in the grand scheme of things, I'm actually quite happy with what we pulled today. Uh, we have a treasure token or a spirit token. We're going to go for spirit token because Boros shouldn't work, but it does in this deck, in this uh, mechanic even. Okay, our battles here. Heated debate. Arcane subtraction. Aegis Guardian. Hunt for specimens. Bookworm. Academic dispute. Yeah, dispute. Yeah, I got that right. Yay. Uh, Mercy Mercurial transformation. Leonin light scribe. Then we have the commander from the com the Quandrix commander deck. The twin casters that let you spit out twice as many tokens as you've just created. Really good card. Always will be a good card. And Ward 2, because, you know, pay 2 mana to get protection, basically. And then we have a Silver Quill Silencer, followed up by a Divine Gambit. Time Warp. Nice. Amazing card. Take an extra turn, because why not? Just why not? Take an extra turn. Snakeskin Veil. And I think that is a Foil Lightning Bolt, or a Shock. Uh, I believe I could I probably am wrong let me have a look uh, no nope uh, it's a rare I think it, it's not Urza's Rage but yeah once again absolutely amazing artwork for the Japanese cards I cannot fault them on it uh, a bit like uh, the uh, War of the Spark cards I was a personal fan of the Liliana Planeswalker card for the Japanese artworks. Uh, other people weren't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, absolutely amazing packs. Pest! Or, we're going with Pest because they are heckin' adorable. Uh, make your mark. Enthusiastic study. Curate. Cogwork Archivist. Dual Mage. Uh, Mage Dual, sorry, not Dual Mage. Uh, Plum the Forbidden. Plume, plume. Tend the pests. Inkling summoning. Vexing, a blex vexing pest. Yet again for foils. Then we have Fear and the Broker. Multiple choice. Eliminate. That will be a Doom Blade, I believe. You have gone in the wrong section, Gareth. You are in the wrong section also. I've lost my sections. Okay, so that's my etch foils. So you are my Japanese for normal Japanese etched. There we go. And then we have another Divine Gambit and an Auric Law Mage. Sorry, I do. Um, if you want to, would like to buy your own trading cards um, and you don't really know where to get them from, look, take, just check us out on TotalCards.net. We have Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball, uh, Digimon, Magic the Gathering, as you can see here. Uh, if we don't have it, we might be stocking it at some point. Um, also, if you just need something as simple as clear, simple penny sleeves, we, we will most likely have them. Uh, but yep, it's just totalcards.net, written straight across here, exactly the same. Um, and we hope to see from you soon. Um, so yeah, last pack. We have an Inkling and a Fractal. Inkling because they're funny. There we go. We have a Law Hall Pledge Mage, Prismari Pledge Mage, Reject, Arrogant Poet, Archway Commons, Divide by Zero. I don't know how you can do that. <laughs> uh, Deadly Brew. Teaching the Archeex. Demogroth Titan. That's it for the foils. For this, these two booster boxes right now. We have a creative technique. Oh, that is the foil section. Get out. The Biblioplex. That is a card I never pulled, but I really, really want it. It's kind of like the Great Hall in um, Harry Potter. It's, it's in every movie. I need it. <laughs> uh, we have a Divine Strike. Uh, you will go on there. Now that is an Urza's Rage. 
absolutely stunning. The artwork for Urza, he genuinely looks like he has is a emperor almost, and he is fighting his way through. Absolutely stunning. A a file eliminate and an ingenious mastery. So you go there. Once again, thank you for being here with this box opening. These two box openings, should I say. Um, and we are TotalCards.net. Anything you need, we may sell it. Um, we definitely sell trading cards. Uh, Magic the Gathering, collector's booster packs, set booster packs, uh, draft boosters, I believe we've still got. Um, so yeah, we're TotalCards.net, and we'll catch you later. Bye.